All right, so a few people asked how everything goes together with the light kit. So this is a DIY light kit um, for whether you order clear spacers for a cooler, make your own, or say you're doing um, grills, some of the free files on the page have inserts for LED lights. So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw these in there really quick. This is just a file that I came up with real fast. So we've got this thrown in there. Let me pull this out. Should have started a little over, but it'd be all right. So throw that in there. We're gonna hook up our controller. We have our DC plug right here. We have a 25.6 volt battery. We have a 24 volt to five volt, three amp buck down. These are really nice. They're about $10 on Amazon, guys. You can get the ones that you solder in line that are even smaller. But honestly, these little piece of Velcro, four screws, super simple. So we're going to do positive, negative for this. And you have to pay attention because if you don't run a voltage uh, reducer like this or a buck converter, what's called our DC converter, it's going to send too much power to the LEDs. You're going to burn them up. Now they do have 12 volt LEDs. Um, those will be available on the site in a couple, couple months probably. I can't add everything, obviously. So we've got that hooked up. We're going to hook this up to our controller. We'll hook this up. There you have it, guys. That's all there is to wiring them up and getting them playing. Lots of different modes that you can go through. Go ahead and turn out the lights if I can find the clicker. Well, I have a little on off switch for all the lights in here. Here it is. <clears throat> And you can run multiple controllers off of one of these up to three amps. They sell them in three, five, and 10. Do not use a higher amperage unless you need it. These need five and below. So if you wanna run multiple light strings, what you can do is cut the wires and tie them all together. But th these are cool. There's an app, there's a remote music mode. So. While you're talking, it can change. Several different ones. Lots of different flashing patterns. So these are like spacers for the coolers that we do. Um, these are what I call blanks. All you do is, depending on what speaker you want, you print it out in PETG. Uh, clear and then you drill your holes according to the speakers you're using and you're good to go I'll have more of these files available for free download uh, It just takes time to down, uh, design them and get them on the site And if you've seen Jared or Matt's grills and some of Nicholas is free they have a Little centerpiece where you can add the lights as well. So that being said, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. If you have any questions, you know what to do. Comment below.